1841-1900. When a boy, he was called St. Hyensi was born in Cau Saigon into a Catholic family, but his home village was in Tan Long. He was sent to Malaysia to learn such languages as Latin, French, Chinese, and what MGU Romanized Vietnamese. Because his teacher had the same name as his, he had to change his name into that. He was appointed an interpreter and secretary of service at Taman for many years. possible through the care of the fact that the fact that some however the fact that did this to fulfill his father wish and used his father money for the construction that is why the church was named after high ensign to express gratitude decorated interior of the church can amaze anyone. Colorful crystal windows of the church make the space even more elegant. Objects imbued with western culture and sophisticated sculptures create a sacred hall. Hyensi Church is 57 meters high. The four bells were cast in France and brought in. When being stricken, they produced melodious sounds that echo far and wide. Hyensi the fat dad died in 1900. His wife Hamid Thaitai passed away two years later. Their dead bodies were buried in a charnel house behind the church. The statues of his son the fat that and his daughter-in-law do fight thou on inside. The fact that his marble statue is erected on his tomb facing the nave of the church. It can be considered a lively work of art with sophisticated details. The fact that plant belonged to the blue blood then. 
most of his children were wealthy and powerful landlords. He was maternal grandfather of Nguyen Hathai Lane or named Falun Queen. King Cleo died wife. a few architectural works that are closely associated with Du Hafalong can be found today. This school is the most popular. Du Hafalong was born in 1841 in Shodu, Saigon. Introduced by a provincial official, he became a collaborator for French colonists after they took over Kaihola in 1861. Hafalong got his promotion and was rewarded with a lot of land from the French. As recorded, Du Hafalong could earn such enormous fortune because he had a resourceful and talented wife. She funded the construction of Aotin Kielong School, which is today S. Nguyen Thaimin High School. severely damaged by time, and thus we can only see a part of it here. The tomb and the stele with the names of members of Duha clan are the clearest evidences for the origin of the architectural work. Four pillars in the center of the worshipping house are the most precious traces here. Elaborately carved in sculptures details with characters written with gold powder prove the wealthiness of provincial chief Hidu Hafalong. All visitors to the worshipping house feel sorry for the majestic architectural work in the past find themselves filled with compassion for the glorious past of a wealthy man. This used to be the most luxurious edifice in Saigon colon in the past. It belonged to Bia Ho Chong whose real name was Lai Chuang Kun. He was a Chinese expatriate in Vietnam. Because of his loyalty of the Ming Dynasty, Lai Chuang Kun refused to live under the power of the Qing Dynasty and moved to the south of Vietnam. The life and career of this figure are mainly found in anecdotes. Lai Chuang Kun was Catholic and his Vietnamese name was Xurong. And he attended an interpretation school. He was excellent in both French and Chinese and thus appreciated by the French then. Although he earned both money and social status, while working as an interpreter, most of his wealth came from his business. After becoming quite popular, he decided to run a business as a food provider to serve people in Saigon and nearby provinces. His business went so plain sailing that soon after that he became a rich man. house was built 130 years ago. Its architectural and sculptural works inside are found intact until today. His
descendants took good care of the house and made it the worshipping house of Rai Glan. This imposing house won the Ho Chi Minh City Cultural Heritage Certificate in 2009. The main hall of the house remains unchanged today. It was where Lai Chuang Kun received his guests of honor organized important events of the family. The main door was only opened during events or worshipping rituals. As recorded in the Book of History, there was a sarcophagus murder stone in the middle of the charnel house, whose design was excellent combination of Gothic and Asian architecture. Despite its modest scale, the charnel house's subtle decorating pattern, imbued with Western culture. Next to Lightroom, Kunes tomb is that of his wife. funded the construction of such architectural works as Ho Chi Minh City Fine Arts Museum, Chu Du Hospital, Saigon First Aid Center, Government Guest House and a lot of banks and shopping malls in Saigon. And this Hotel Majestic Saigon is included, of course. Hotel Majestic Saigon has welcomed so many famous figures from different countries in the world. British White Green Green, the author of The Quiet America, which was made into a movie by Philip Noyce, stayed here in his visit to Vietnam. Kiko Takeshi, a famous Japanese writer and journalist, came here in 1964 and 1965 well-known French actress Catherine Deneuve, who had a role in Indo King in 1993, also stayed in this hotel. The hotel welcomed Prince Andrew in March 1999, and its most recent famous guest was the President of Bulgaria in 2013. As written many documents, Chuhala Yuvon launched his business in trading wasted materials. As told in anecdote being considered the most solid evidence, the French sold off 20,000 used transmitters. Kuhoe borrowed money to buy these machines and used his experience in separating gold from the machines to get a large amount of gold. Thanks to that capital and inborn business talent, he could make a big fortune. family used to live here. The house still keeps its ancient beauty today. As written by Bong Hong Sun in Saigon Shore Saigon in the past, Hugh Bong Hoa's children got on so well with each other. They did not share their father assets and just used the interest. When someone needed a big sum of money to carry out an important thing, to ask for the permission of the eldest brother. So doing, Hugh Bonhoe monumental treasure was preserved well over time. Located in this area may not forget Quash Dam, the one who loaned money for the construction of Bin Tay Market. Quash Dan had a tough childhood and he earned his living as a junk dealer like Guho. After Quash Dan had saved a sum of money, 
He started his business and later became a leading rice provider in Saigon Kodong. During the early 1920s, the then authorities of Saigon intended to move the old and packed Kodong area to a new place. However, they failed to find a suitable location for it. Quash Dam wanted to give them part of his land and funded the construction of a new and larger market if he had the land for building his two streets along the two sides of the market and the copper statue him, placed in front of the market. His requests were approved and Bing Tay Market was built in 1928. Bing Tay Market is one of the busy trading centers with important contribution to the development of Saigon Kodan today. Goods from this market are brought to different areas one of the popular central markets in Saigon, Vinte Market, has a range of products. You can find almost everything you need here. The market is always overcrowded with buyers and sellers. Foreign tourists also come here to explore its cultural and historical value. Saigon with well-known anecdotes has left unique impression and people via traces of time. The city now completely deserves the title of the cultural and economic hub of Vietnam. <laughs>